Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of One and Done. We're going to be cracking into a, a game that I've had for probably over a year and a half now. What? Oh, they're starting right off the bat. This is the story of the many. Who are blessed with difference and rich in strangeness. We didn't even get through the credits or the story of a family. The eternal cylinder. I like how they just jump right out of the gate. We're not even through all of the the, the, the beginning credits and you're just throwing information at me. Um, I, I did have this on PS4, but there's a, a PS5 upgrade that's free. I have no idea what this is. It looks almost like a, just from looking at the cover, my first instinct to say, oh, Spore. Like the one with little creatures and whatnot. And, um, but it's probably not quite like that, I'm guessing. But if you go anywhere online, awesome reviews. Like, the thing on PlayStation had like over 350-something reviews, and it had 4.7-something stars. Metacritic had it at favorably, uh, at a favorable review. Um, a whole bunch of other... The sites had it at good reviews as well. Um, and so it makes me wonder, like, how can a game like this just be passed up? So I definitely want to take a stab at it and see what it's about. Ooh, the sounds. Okay, uh, settings. Easy survival mechanics. Oh, this music is banging! This is awesome. Um, ray tracing, motion blur, subtitles, make sure those are on. Music is just bumping right now. Yeah, let's let's just play regular, not mess around with anything. And just get cracking into it. Once upon a time in the age of the eternal cylinder, there lived a family of little creatures called the Trebum. Trebum. Trebum are not the strongest, nor the fastest. And they do not have sharp teeth. They would make easy prey for the terrible force that came to their planet. But Trebum are loyal and resourceful and very, very stubborn. It is with such a Trebum that our story begins. One clever little creature born into a cruel world who would be instrumental in bringing prosperity to its kind. There's some funky looking creatures. What an unfortunate place for a beginning. Whoa. Run, something inside him said. Run. Okay. Pretty generic right now with... What am I running from? Whoa, what is that? What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? It stopped. The great crushing thing, the great cylinder had stopped. Perhaps it was safe here for a little while. What is this? How quickly it learned to use its legs and its trunk. Gather materials, L2. Were not so much learned as they were oh. Perhaps, the little Trebum thought, they were a gift from the strange voice it heard in its mind. That too was a kind of memory. What's that? Uh... 
don't know what this is. Just when we're starting to get used to its legs, the food from the jumping creature gave it new ones. What? With the right substance as a catalyst, a trebum can transform and adapt to many challenges. Is this? Whoa, okay. This has got to be just like Spore. Shoot anything from your inventory. Try shooting water. The flying bugs. Where's the flying bugs? Excuse me. Where's the flying bugs? Hey, get back here. Oh, can I only keep like three things on my inventory? This is so bizarre. and grow from the food? Okay. What? What? Oh. My bad. How do I... Oh, okay, we ate that. Oh, some food has water in it, and we need to stay hydrated. It's effective though. Like, are there only certain foods that really do it? I have no idea where I'm going. Let's go towards the blue. The Trebum was drawn to a bright light, or perhaps to the creature next to it. Creature next to it? What? What do you mean creature next to it? Oh, that probably waste water though. Oh, get out of there. So where am I going now? Whoa, what are you? Come here. Come here. Okay, so don't do anything to them because Except they actually the did damage. Except on the old one's head. They were very much alive. Where's your face? Surrounded by this light, the Trebum knew things it had not known before. It knew the older Trebum had carried this light for a long, long time. And it knew that now that responsibility had passed to the next generation. Yes, this young Trebum had to carry the light to those great towers in the distance. It could have stayed here to learn many old things, but the cylinder would not allow it. Oh, it's taken out? Oh, interesting. Run, the inner voice said. Run. The towers would not stop the cylinder unless they were activated. Oh, sweet. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. You control it a little bit too. Uh, 
The Trebom had to step on the symbol or the cylinder would not be stopped. Okay. No, it's still going. No, I thought you said I had to step on it. I don't get it. So, do I gotta go to the next one? Okay, it stopped. inside the Trebum's memories. Oh. Sure that while the tower stood, the Trebum would be safe. The power of the eternal cylinder was contained for now. So what does it do? Just roll around squishing things? Our young friend had found an egg. A Trebum egg with one of his siblings inside. The egg had been abandoned, but it could still be made to hatch. All that was needed was a source of heat. What? Hold release egg? Oh. Do I just take it and go, or... No, because it's cooling down. Well, it's just going to cool down, so... Is that all it needs? Yeah, there we go. You can change the name or put in your own. Okay. Oh! Like Pikmin? Okay. Very interesting. Look for water, you need to hydrate. to go. Your drum is too young to swim across. Watch for beams of light that come from activated towers. They will point you to objectives or areas of interest. It was hard for the Trevum to know what to do or where to go. But the friendly voice suggested this was not the right Can I not way. drink that water? To find your path, it said, you must follow the beam of light that emanates from the tip of the tower and stay away from the deep waters. Where the old things dwell. Well, I need water. You just get rid of a bunch of stuff. Not exactly sure where I go to get water. I, I saw the things that we got before, but. Yeah, these are all plant-based. There's no real water coming from them. Eh, let's skip out of that for right now. snail. Yep, I see you. Still not seeing it. No. I need water. Why can I not just...
Oh, that one had water in it. Okay. Do they all have water in it regardless? Some of them just have more? a very weird game. Whoa! The creatures are just bizarre. So how do I get over there? Did he just crawl out of his shell? Hard shells, some ingredients. Try experimenting with and, f and throwing them, crushing them, or feeding them to other creatures. Items with a breakable exterior are, uh, are marked with a yellow border in the inventory. Copy eaten until they're out. Is he gonna be mad? No? Okay. No egg or anything over here, is there? I don't see anything. I got those. I'm thinking. We go this way. think because there's really nothing over there that we can get to oh wait no we have a temperature gave gauge so nope 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 too cold okay so we can't go that direction never mind so do we go over towards the big dino Don't get stuck in there, I guess. Come on, little buddy. Uh, I got some more creatures over here. Whoa. What is this? Oh, we need three to open that. So we need to find our third. You are an interesting looking creature. Finding another Trebum was a cause for joy. But this new friend was not well. Deep inside the memories it had inherited, the Trebum found the answer. To recover, its friend needed a very specific substance, which appeared as glittering clusters of crystal dust. This dust was not natural. Only a great Trebum could create it. And so it was on the achievements of previous generations that the newborn Trebum would have to rely. Luckily, it seemed a wise and powerful Trebum had passed through here some time ago. So I need to get more of that stuff. Oops. Oh, he's good. Good grip. 
Okay. So let's go back over here then. We got three, so we can open that door. Nope, no water. There we go. We got three now. This door had been built for Trevor. It gave them hope that in this large and dangerous world, some places had been made for them. Enter Elder Cave. Am I gonna get some sort of a backstory? I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Oh boy. Tap to quickly change the group leader. Hold to manually select. Don't worry if you lose sight of family members, you don't need to wait for other trouble. Automatically manage to get okay. Oh, nifty. What? Statue transferred knowledge to the Trevor. Organic cube? A rare organic growth found near certain ancient Trevum structures, most likely artificial in origin. Oh, there's a lot here. Okay, there's a lot of stuff we found so far. Oh, it tells you if it gives you food or water. Nice, that's handy. Inventory. Oh, each one has different inventory. Cool. And then a map. Oh my goodness, there's so much to this map. Okay. Um. It was as if a memory had been stored inside it, waiting for someone to absorb it. And as oh, soon okay. as this knowledge had entered their minds, the Trebum realized that there was a great library of information hidden away in the web of their memories. But why was the knowledge of a specific ingredient placed here in this trebum made of stone? Okay, so we got two of those. Do we really can't just drink water? Almost seems like we need two. Oh crap, I ate one. What? What? Allow the to enter special openings and certain- Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. This is weird. Inside the cave, the Trebum found a living elder. It had been waiting in this chamber for a long, long time. The elder told them it was happy to see some friends before the cylinder came. It said, you are young, so you never knew the time when our people could shapeshift at will. We Trebum are inheritors of a vast tree of abilities. Abilities passed on to all future Trebum. But this power is being taken away. Beware the servants of the cylinder. They will seek to hurt you at every opportunity. And they have the power that is to some, of your abilities. That is some but Toy Story esque. Like One Sid looking thing. To protect yourselves from their evil light. Farewell, my brave friends. I fear I am too old and tired to join you. May you find a way to prosper. In this time of struggles. 
very, very interesting. Um, huh. I mean, you need to exit cave. I think that is going to wrap up. Was not oh, we got another one. The cave, but the elder had urged them to go forward. Suddenly, they felt the weight of their many tasks. To find oh, their there's so many now. Restore the powers their people had lost. And it all seemed a little daunting. Oh, Even this is when crazy. they are afraid, trip up a stubborn. This is a weird looking game. I, and I'm intrigued. Um, I actually kind of want to play a little more of it, but we are booking at some pretty good time right now. So I think I'm going to call it for today. Let me know what you guys think about this game. Um, soundtrack is good. Story, not really sure yet. <laughs> I'm still pretty lost on it to be honest but it's definitely a unique looking game that's for sure but yeah i will see you guys in the next one and done until then take care and peace out